Welcome back trading fam. This is Trader Z. We're just gonna have a normal trading video today. Um, just gonna be talking and trading, showing you that the strategy is working. Um, I made some mistakes and then won some trades off of retracement, but not on these markets. These markets are just the ones that are um, the best ones right now. The 384 markets, that's what we're looking on today. Um, Euro, Euro USD, Euro JPY, and USD JPY. They're the ones that are performing best right now. So we're just going to take a look at um, the three of them. Um, this looks like it's going to go down. Um, I'm going to take a trade here. Euro USD. Okay, it looks like it's gonna go up. Um, but it's the Bollinger lines are closing together, so I'm not sure I'm gonna win this one, but. Let's look at this. Where are we in this? Where um we're losing right now. We're gonna look at the USJPY. This looks like it's gonna go down. The USJPY doesn't have a good um history. Looking at two hours, it doesn't have a good uh, history above the um 50. You know, it just goes above and dips under. So I'm gonna go down here for the next probably two minutes. My trade is taking a long while to go through. Log my trade, please. Okay, it's finally gone through. I saw it because the balance minus the ten dollars. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, it doesn't have a good history of being above the fifty. You know, so I think it's going to go down. <clears throat> Let's look at the other one. Euro USD. Is looking good still although by very little um, okay losing now uh, euro JPY is losing as well so right now it looks like I'm losing three trades so we're gonna go to the closest one and see if we can catch retracement on it actually I won't be trading there because the Bollinger lines are so close so if I was trading right now, I would trade up, but it's still um, very risky. You see, it's gone up now. Three, two, one. One, that one. But it's gonna just. It's it, it look at the RSI. It doesn't have enough power to support the uptrend. I mean, it's 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 reach. It's going up to the 80 and fading away. So I'm not gonna trade there. I would trade down, but I'm not going to trade there. I'm looking at these other markets first. Um, this one looks bad. This one looks... Okay, this one is drawing right now. But as you can see, look at the RSI. It's kind of dying out. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Just going in a little closer on the Euro JPY. I couldn't really see what was going on. Uh, you sh should go a little closer on this too. So this is the one that I was saying it it doesn't have a good history over the 50. So it looks like it's gonna drop. Uh, three seconds on this. Um, look like I lost. Still loading. Okay, what happened? Did I win or lose? Okay, okay, I lost. And um, we're gonna go down here. The app is moving a little slow, so when I put in trades, 
they don't go in when they're supposed to or they appear late so I put in a trade there so I'm gonna go look at USJPY uh, looks like I'm winning right now with five seconds to go but it's still loading so I don't know how it looks and that is see it's still moving after it's done counting it looks like oh I won that one and I won the Euro JPY one so I've just won three in a row that's great three wins in a row oh I lost one on the on the Euro USD yeah I lost the Euro USD one but I got it back in retracement so I got eighteen dollars off Euro JPY and eight dollars off of this one so I'm gonna go back to ten and see what's happening this looks really weak uh, okay 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 I should go down with this and um, euro USD back up a little back up a little should be going down with this too and go back in just to see what's happening go back in on this one too USJPY you see it was risky I was gonna I was saying that it's gonna go down and now it's a green candle there so kind of risky I don't know look at that the one I was saying it doesn't have a good history over 50 I know it's rising so that lost there uh, I'm losing here with uh, 30 seconds to go I'm losing here too with 30 seconds to go. It was too close to the Bollinger line to go down. I thought it was going to make a downtrend. So I lost, looks like I've lost two trades here. So, <coughs> how does this one look? This one looks bad too. What I don't understand is how the USJPY and the EURJPY are both going up. I don't understand that but that's what it is right now let's go back and look um, oh this looks like it's building up for a drop so I'm gonna go 232 and down this looks like it's going to change on the um, on the 15 minute so it's gonna go it's uh, it looks like it's gonna go down after the 15 minute period passes as if you look 2115 2115 was uh like it was going down and then it changed like uh, 17 2117 it went up and then it's starting to go down and losing strength so it looks like it's gonna go down by 2132 so um logged in a long time trade there for me it's long time this is uh, consolidating. Look at those small candles and the Bollinger Bands are not that far apart. If I go to three hours, look how far the Bollinger Bands are and we're in consolidation. That means that the bank is playing around. The banks are playing around the market. Look at that big candle now. That Okay, compared to the other ones, it's big. So that means that probably we're going to get a down either it's gonna form an uptrend and go up or it's gonna come back down because the price is too close to that top Bollinger line so I'd, I'd, I'd dip I'd go with a down yeah I'd go with a down but it looks like the app has frozen again so we're just gonna wait for it to come back okay is my trade gone in because I said I would go with a put trade there you know what, let's look at another market. Things might be moving. Okay, this is not moving according to plan. It bounced off of the 50 and decided to go back up. So I'm going to lose that trade. This is $28 lost. Looks like I'm going to lose. We're still in consolidation here. You see how this consolidation, the Bollinger lines are close. And on this one, they're not close. So yeah, um, I'm going to go down again. Oh, looked like it didn't it didn't log. Okay, it did. 
So all I need for it to do is just violently drop right now. which it's so close to doing well you win some you lose some I lost four dollars and 48 cents off of that trade not not bad considering the you know okay now we're going into a proper consolidation because you see the Bollinger bands are really close now so the banks finished fooling around in the market I know a lot of people lost money over there it's no trade zone but you still want to trade because they're trying to scavenge this money, but look at this now. It's gonna go down, but it's not gonna go down now. It's going to go down. Uh, 34, down. Oh lord, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh man, I'm, oh man. I chose the wrong time period. And I'm paying for it. <clears throat> anyway, let's see if we can get back our money. Okay. I don't know how that won. I'm not sure. I don't know how that won, but I'll take it. That's for sure. So do I have any other trades in? Yeah, I do. I have one for 34 which is gonna be another win because I predicted that right it just went right through the 50 and it's staying down so I just hope that it stays that way oh no it's coming back up oh lord can you quickly form the next candle and go down uh, <clears throat> speaking so confidently that's what AI does all the time it wants to make humans look like idiots I was saying yeah confident win look at that look at that and then it just flop instant flop make me look like an idiot like I don't know how to trade <clears throat> but lose 28 you just use your coefficient and go up to 78 everybody did you see that did you see that candle form so big and then turn in for a big red candle and then turn into a green candle okay the app is shaking the app is getting very shaky <clears throat> Okay, this is just this is just gonna murder me right here. So I'm gonna look another market. Try this one. I put in my trade up before all of that happened. And that's where it puts me. In an impossible place where I'm gonna lose. Oh gosh. Unless the next candle forms big and then continues above that 50, which I'm guarantee, which I'm counting on, I'm counting on that. So, okay, okay, looks like I'm gonna win back my money that I lost in the Euro JPY. Yeah, there it is. I lost the Euro JPY trade, but this is looking damn good. And then the AI will come and frig me up right now. Watch this. By the way, this is 20th June 2021. Happy Father's Day for all the fathers trading or not trading. Not the sperm donors, the ones who take care of their children. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I take care of my children. All of my children are with me. So, and I have children with three different, four different ladies. Three baby mothers and one wife, so... I take care of my kids, all of them are with me. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Cash in a win. And we keep on going up. Let's push this up higher. So I go into there and I go back to ten dollars and let's look at another market. This is consolidation, consolidation. Let's stay on the Euro USD. But now let's take a bigger picture well we are in consolidation but it's kind of trying to break out you know <coughs> it's trying to break out whichever direction it can you know it's trying to break out so 
the is sorry there <clears throat> the is consolidation comparing to the you know the rest of the market how it's been but you still have some decent movement you can trade on <clears throat> if it was forex oh i don't know where these trades are coming from if the program is so laggy but i'm winning and i don't even remember these trades so wow thanks thanks iq you're giving me some free practice money <clears throat> and this looks like now it's hit the roof and it's going down so i'm gonna follow it it's going down normally you don't go against the investor sentiment or segment I'm not sure on the euro USD but I'm going against it let's see if I win or lose I put that trade in ages ago please log it where I put it and don't put it right there where it is now okay okay it's gonna put me in an impossible place again but if it breaks that 50% line on the RSI and goes down, then I'll be all right. But if it doesn't, I'll be frigged. So, as I said, we're in consolidation and it's still good movement. But it's still risky when the app is slow like that. Look, look at that, look at that. It didn't even show me that my trade was logged in and I won. No, this app is moving really slow. So, uh, trading farm, I'm going to leave you here because all the markets are in consolidation look at that i'm gonna zoom out just to show you what's going on on all of them all of them are in consolidation nothing's going on right now it's 9 37 here in jamaica so i'm just gonna log off for now trading fam you know what to do like subscribe share and this is trader z i'm out